We're here now with uh, Tom Levine. He is the author of Party, which is a KNTR book. Uh, very great for teens. And we are standing back to back because we aren't speaking to one another. Nope. <laughs> He's mad at me because I made him hike up that mountain, up yep. to the top there. Yep. So was, he's not happy because he had to work today. Yeah, it was like it was like 45 miles <laughs> uphill both ways in the sun. It's like it's like 300 degrees out here today. And we love to torture our authors. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, to <laughs> I'm just kidding. It wasn't. No, it was it was like four or five miles, and it's actually a very beautiful day um, out here in Arizona, which is a nice change of pace for us, actually. And for a good cause, because he yes. collected pledges for Kids Need to Read. That's right. Which is wonderful online. And uh, did you uh, did you run into any snakes or any weird creatures? Uh, no snakes. I don't remember there being any snakes. I think they were afraid of us. They stayed back. Um, because you were an impressive group of people. That's right. PJ uh, Harsma led the way. He led the charge. And, and he had this sort of uh, slow motion training montage thing going on all the way up <laughs> while the rest of us were kind of hanging back. It was like Rocky. Yes. So that was pretty and, cool. And did he do this? Yes. It's a hair. It yes. was long. Yes. All the way just up? Just the once. And I got, I got to oh, stand behind once. it and catch just the, <laughs> the glow. The glow. It was awesome. The magic yes. of the hair. He is an amazing KNTR founder. <laughs> now, there. I know you didn't see snakes and stuff, but no. there was an odd uh, lizard creature there, up there, right? there may have been a very strange lizard creature, sort of golden, um, with a sort of oddly shaped face and head, I the think. The crazed party animal. The crazed party uh, animal lizard. That's right. And it been looked there. kind of similar to this, right? <laughs> right, like that little bit of, little bit of that? that oh, you like that? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you want some of this? Uh, yeah, the crazed lizard thing was, yes. was definitely up there, and, and it was a little scary because um, even the silhouette of the crazed lizard, which you can go see at kidsneedtoread.org. That's correct. Um, at the, which I the guess that's Levine Party Thon. Levine Party Thon. Mm -hmm. um, my my uh, silhouette still, you can tell it's me, which makes me think I've got a very strangely shaped head. Yes. Or maybe you guys just did a great job. Maybe both. It was accurate. It Thank you. Was... And I'm now everyone is staring. <laughs> you know everyone is staring at I'm... your head now. Yeah, that's fine. Your book yes. is a wonderful book for teenagers. Thank you. Uh, some really great themes in there. And um, I know that you are very, very passionate about writing for teens. Yes. And I wonder if you could talk a little bit about that. Sure. Uh, one other thing, I'll tell you a story real quick. Uh, I was at a high school recently, and there was a girl, I think she was a freshman or sophomore, and she asked me, um, when did you know you wanted to be a writer? And... Oh. <laughs> one of our storytellers. <laughs> Uh, when did you know you wanted to be a writer, and what did your family think? And that made me really mad, not because of the question, but because what the question meant was somebody in her life had told her, no, you can't do this. And nothing, nothing drives me more crazy than a grown-up or an adult telling a kid of any age that they can't accomplish something. Drives me absolutely nuts. So yeah, I think the cool thing about writing for teenagers is, is that they are made of nothing but potential and awesome. Like those are the two ingredients that go into being a teenager and that's it's great. We agree, that's why we are the only National Literacy Foundation that serves older children. Uh, so, really? Yeah, we're the only ch children's literacy organization that serves older children, so, national, on a national level. So that's cool on the one hand, and on the other hand, what's It's the, not as bad that they're yeah, not getting it, but we are inundated with programs like juvenile offender programs, uh, special education classes, mm. dropout recovery programs, awesome. uh, urban after school, because nobody else is serving them. And they're in dire need of literacy intervention. Yeah. It just, you know, Seriously. it doesn't stop at third grade. It's, you know, the important thing that they read by third grade, but unfortunately, that doesn't happen. Yeah, so anyway, that's, that's we wrong. believe like you that they are made of awesome. Yeah. They have all that potential and never tell a kid they cannot do something. No, and, no. They no. Can. So thank you very much for well, coming. Thank you. thank you for making the trek up the mountain. It was pretty hard, I'm not going to lie. It was, uh... You collected pledges? It was rough. It yep. was pretty, yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much. You bet. We thank you, Janice. It.